Hello everyone and welcome back to J1 Aviation. Today we're talking about temporary flight restrictions. So why are we talking about TFRs today? Well the reason is because our local airport is under one right now and it's awfully quiet around here. Okay so what is a TFR? Basically a TFR is an airspace restriction. Something's going on and the FAA wants to restrict flight in a certain area. So the reason TFRs are issued are due to safety and security. You know, several things could cause a TFR to be issued. The number one thing probably in the U.S. is major sporting events. Um, it could also be like maybe natural disasters or national security situations or VIP movement. So the one that affects us here at November 57 are the presidential TFRs. When Joe Biden goes home for the weekend, our airport is restricted since it is very close to his home in Delaware. So how do you find out about TFRs? Well, there should be a notum. If a TFR is impacting an airport you will be flying into, then you will find the TFR information in the notums for that airport. It's real handy if you have four flight or something similar. So here, when I check the notums, you can select TFR, ART, CC, and you can see the TFR notums. ARTCC is the Air Route Traffic Control Center, it just basically means in route notums, basically notums that are not necessarily tied to a particular airport. They're maybe off airport. So the notum text shows the area, altitudes, who can fly within it, and if you can fly within it, what do you need to do? Of course, with the map view, it's very obvious something is going on here with the two red rings. Now, um, you do see aircraft overlapping the rings. Most of these are scheduled air carriers that are not impacted by this TFR. You can also find information about TFRs on the FAA website, tfr.faa.gov. So here, you can sort by a list or by the map view. So I can just show you this real quick. So in the upper left, you have the list view and then the map view. There are some other features here if you want to play around with it. So, okay, let's look at some different types of other TFRs. So the first one on the FAA TFR list was near Sarasota, Florida. So if I type in SRQ on ForeFlight, I can see the notum. And here it says this one is to provide a safe environment for firefighting. So there must be some sort of brush fires or something going on down there with aerial activity. Then on the map, we can see a little red circle north of the airport by the bay. This is the TFR. You can click on it if you want to see some more of the information as well. Then if you scroll up a little bit, here I can see one in St. Petersburg. If you click on it, you can see this one is for a baseball game. And then you can see the list for the next several days as well. So the last thing I wanted to mention is what happens if you violate one. Well, it actually mentions what can happen right in the note of text. So here we can see for our local one, you know, pilots who do not adhere to the following procedures may be intercepted, detained, and interviewed by law enforcement, et cetera, et cetera. And this is true, it will happen. You know, we never used to have these types of TFRs around here, but shortly after Biden took office, people were just jumping in their planes and flying around without checking notums, et cetera. You know, they were off to enjoy a nice flight and here they were flying right into a TFR. And you know, there were a number of intercepts the first few months of Biden taking office. You know, people weren't used to checking these types of restrictions. So it's very important that you're always checking the notums before you go fly. I remember one time I was sitting out on the deck and saw, well, mostly heard, two fighters go cruising overhead. And I knew pretty much immediately that's what happened. I knew there was a TFR out. I heard this little, you know, Cessna or whatever chugging along, and then you hear some fighters go screaming overhead. So put two and two together, you can tell what happened. And then, you know, sure enough, it wasn't very long on YouTube, Bass Aviation had a video up about the, this intercept in the TFR. And, you know, there are several on YouTube. If you search TFR violation near Philadelphia, you know, they'll come up. So anyways, that's it for today. As always, I appreciate you all watching and have a great day.